Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. Hope you had a wonderful week. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a carousel component within your Dash app. So as you can see, we have three pictures here with some captions, a header, and some controls or indicators that we can click on and move from picture to picture. And underneath, we have all our future Dash graphs and data visualizations that we're going to create with Plotly. So this carousel is going to be in this link under the video. Uh, this is a Dash Bootstrap component. And here, if you scroll through the website, you can see all the different types of arguments and uh, types of carousels that you can build with all the information on the arguments here below. So just check out under the video and you'll see this. And as always, to follow along, go into my Dash components into GitHub. I'm going to, I have a lot of components here, going to the carousel one, and then download the IPython notebook if you're using Jupyter or .py file if you're using um, um, PyCharm or Atom or Visual Studios and, and open it up. I'm going to use Jupyter here, so I just open up the file. And let's do this together. Let's create this carousel together on this video. All right. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm importing. You, you probably don't need all of this. You don't need input or output or callback, but I just did it by um, um, just to have it in case you want to do a callback later. Um, make sure that you have dash 2.00 or higher. It's not going to work if the dash is uh, if dash is lower than version 2.00. So I'm going to shift enter and here you can see is just the layout. This D DBC container is just a full layout of the Dash app. I have no callback here. You can do a carousel with callback, but I'm not doing this with a callback. So we're just going to go over the layout. The first I have three rows. One, two, three. The first row is going to have our title, as you can see here, the title. The last row is going to have our subtitle and some empty graphs, as you can see, subtitle and empty graphs. And the row in the middle is going to have our carousel, dbc.carousel. So you have to you make sure you, you have dbc or dash boost com components installed into your, your computer or your virtual environment because you need um, dbc for this app. All right. So these are the, the three rows. So let's focus on the DBC carousel, all of this. Oh, just a, a quick note, make sure that you have a theme. I'm using solar theme. If you don't want the solar theme and you want a different one, you can go into the website here, go into themes, and you can see all the different themes available. Uh, but make sure you have a theme because with, without a theme in the external style sheets, this is not going to work. All right, so the carousel. The first, thing you, the first thing you want to do is to uh, identify or assign uh, dictionaries for the items, right? Each dictionary for the items argument, you see it's inside a list, each dictionary refers to an image. So in this case, you want to start with key um, equals or key one, and for every new image, just put key two, key three. And then the source is going to be the image. So the, the key is SRC. And then the key value is going to be the image itself. But you have to put the path of the image. So my image is inside the assets folder. You see here? If I go back to the carousel directory, carousel directory, in the carousel directory, I have my Jupyter carousel notebook. And inside of this directory, I also have the assets folder. And here is where my um, images are housed so make sure that you um, that's why the, that's why we put forward slash assets forward slash chapulin one chapulin two and chapulin three because this is where every image is located and then if you want to you see that i don't do this on the third image but in the first image i'm adding a caption my cat captions in the second image i'm adding a header my cat header and in the third image, I don't have anything. So you see here my first image, my cat captions. Second image, a little bit bigger and bold, my cat header. And the third image doesn't have anything. And lastly, I put image style. Image style is an argument that can control the maximum height or maximum width or color of your images. And this has to be, this is a, a dictionary inside each every um, item um, dictionary. So image style, and I'm saying max height will be 500 pixels. 
If you go to the image itself, open your image with, with paint or with anything, you'll see the image is 2,160 pixels high. So that's way too high. If I didn't have this, my the image will be the whole page. It really will be, it will take up the whole div and the whole page and that will be too big. So to control the height, I just put max height 500. Change this to 300, 400, 1000 and see the difference. Okay, now that we have the images and we completed the items argument, we have these four, five different arguments that you can learn from that also give us some type of control over the dash component, the, the carousel component. These arrows refer to the controls. So if I put false, I will not see these arrows. Indicators, if I put false indicators, it refers to this. So if I put false, I will not have this. Intervals, this is 2000 milliseconds, so this means two seconds, and this refers to how fast the carousel will pass from image to image. If I don't click on anything, every two seconds, an image will rotate from one image to the next. And then ride carousel makes it automatic. And what you could do, you can also play around with a class name carousel fade. If I do carousel fade, run this and run this again, see the difference. This is not no fade, just moving from one image to the next. And if I do carousel fade, let's see what happens. It fades away instead of changing from left to right, it just fades into the next image. See? So that's kind of cool. So there are a few more, a few more arguments. If you want to look at them, uh, they're here. Keyword arguments for carousel. Look at them. Um, see what you uh, what you want to use and how you can change things. But this is this is pretty much it for the carousel. I really really like it. It's a great component. Um, it's a component that. Um, was built together by 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 Tom and by by Anne and uh, two good uh, well at least Anne is a good colleague of mine Tom I just know because he's a uh, he's just very he's the creator of Dash Bootstrap um, very very powerful um, and I hope you can incorporate this into your own Dash uh, Dash apps as well as always uh, always remember we're better together so help each other out and never give up keep practicing I hope to see you next week bye bye.